bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together So another take on this project for Wise Old Owl So I've finished canvas one and I'm now going to start on the second canvas with the square doily that I have and I've just picked a few elements that I think will work with this project so I'll just see where I go with this I'm not sure exactly what I'm after so I'm going to use the papers that I used to sop up the excess spray from the first canvas and add them on top of the doily to add another layer this doesn't take anything from it I think it just adds and this is it's basically what you would also do so if, do adding stencils with modeling paste etc so basically I'm treating the doily in this particular layout as modeling paste so it's adding a texture layer it's not being part of the main feature which it was in the previous canvas so I'll just tear up some of these I may not use them all um, I don't really want to use a lot of the dark ones I want to try to keep some of the true colors not the mix while they still come out rather interesting I'd prefer to use some of the, the, the colors that is in the sprays so I'll get on with this project and I'll be back later basic here I'm going to add a dollop to the glass tabletop and I'm going to mix in some of the ink sprays into the modeling paste this will lighten the color and give you a different look of your modeling paste it doesn't affect the modeling paste it actually still retains all its features it's just changes the color so I'm now using here from a roll of cut out leftovers from so I'm not quite sure what Rachel told me from was it else she sent me a roll of this so it basically can be used as a stencil so it looks to me like it's cut out um, glitter or something that's been you know that type of effect so it's something to do with craft and she's grabbed some rolls and and um, we can use them as stencils and they're quite handy so I'm just drying off the paper here as you can also see I've actually added some words just to add another dimension so I'll add some more dye to some more of the modeling paste and I'll add the modeling paste around the layout I've actually gone on a diagonal from corner to corner and trying to leave the, the opposite two corners as much white or or not as dark a colouring as the rest of the canvas. So I'll be back in a little bit.
I have here some Versamark water, Versamark watermark stamp pad. I have some sticky embossing powder and some champagne metal leaves. So on these chipboard embellishments from Kazaz, left over from when I was a consultant, I'm actually going to add the Versamark to the this chipboard. I am not priming or anything, I'm just going to leave them as is, as the champagne is a darker, almost a, a reasonably dark metallic, I think it'll work with the brown that's already there. So I'm just going to sprinkle on the embossing powder, just like any other embossing, but this leaves the actual surface sticky, more sticky than what just the Versamark itself is. And when you heat gun it, you will have a nice sticky hard surface for the metal leaf to stick to. This is one way of adding metal leaf to a project. There is others, but I will get into those in on other videos. So I'm just heat gunning these now. And as you see, it actually sets or melts quite quickly, this particular embossing, embossing paper powder. So I'm just going to add a sheet and I'm just trying to work out which is the easiest way and just using the brush isn't sufficient I found as I was doing it and guess who forgot to wipe the Versamark off the table and yes Versamark will stick it as you can see but because it doesn't set as well it I'm not sure the result I actually haven't tried it to be honest so I've, I've learned to do it this way so this is what I'm doing so I'm just going to add some of the the leaf and I'm not wasting any of the leaf I'm going to add as I'm going so that there's actually as use as much as it. I'm not wasting even the little speckles they'll get I just pick them up and put them on where it's sticky and I'll keep doing that until I'm happy with the result so now I've cleaned up the area a little bit and these are the those are the final products there and I'm quite happy with that so now I'm go, heading back to the canvas just drying it again a little bit more the leafing program project took a little bit longer than I wanted but that's fine so now I'm going to just add some gesso and I'm just going to add a little bit extra white over those corners as I said I wanted to really keep those areas as clear as I could. I just used I'm now whitewashing the background adding this as the liquid base rather than water I thought I'd give this a go this was a watered down acrylic I used in a previous project so now I'm just dipping some of the ink into areas there is other ways to dip like this but I'm just grabbing the tube out of the paint and, and doing like that you could add a, a dipper or a, you know a squeezy thing to to that the only thing i pre-warn you about is don't leave it unscrewed beside you i have been known many a time to actually bump it and it goes everywhere if your desktop isn't straight it goes even further so just be careful with that that part of it if you're going to be using it as a dipper 
so I'm just spraying and I sprayed it with water as well adding a few more extra sprays of the darker ink so there's a little bit more and spreading it and getting a few different color tones through that center angle and remembering that when you've actually added <coughs> excuse me paper on top of something like this doily it the ink will go underneath the water will go underneath and it bubbles up some rather unusual colors at times and you'll see this in this process as I'm adding extra colors etc to it I'm trying to retain what I kept when I was doing the stencils and I add those colors to that area and mix it with some whitewash and some water as I'm going and dabbing off the effects that I don't like so enjoy and I'll be back soon off as much as I can dabbing and squeezing and trying to remove as much of the moisture as I can from the project because there will be moisture in behind the paper and in through the doily so I also used a squirt bottle to create the drip effects using a mix of water um, sorry the titanium white and water and that I think actually added a little bit more depth to the page so now I'm I found out the layouts I would like for the actual embellishments on top so I decided to grab my gesso brush but it was really stuck on that so I'm going to try a fan brush to actually try to highlight some of the the areas and whiten up a few of the details in this layout not as impressed with the fan brush for doing this I think the makeup brushes work so much better as it gives you more area and a lot more control now because it just looked like I was missing something I grabbed my thick Posca black pen and I'm actually going around the edge rather than using the acrylic ink to create an edging like I did with the previous canvas I thought 
a distinct black mark around the edge and really highlighting the edge would be the ideal framing for for this canvas so I'm going around and trying to make it thick but not too thick and making sure I get the high ends of the actual dolly behind so now I've actually grabbed some metallic wax that I brought from shiploads here in Tasmania it's an it is another little birdie product and I'm going to just add a little bit of this over the colored section of this canvas and over some of the gold leafed embellishments just to kind of blend it a little bit more into the background so the metallic wax I'm using at the moment is is a copper blaze and it actually is works really well it actually is a beeswax product and it spreads beautifully over and actually has removed some of the gloss but added a different it's really hard to explain but I actually like like the effect it actually changed some of the coloring of the those particular embellishments that I've used there so I'm just going to add my use my Derwent black intense pencil and I've just marked them off so I can remember where to put them on when I've glued them so I'm using the glossy accents again to glue these down I use this often as my fine glue method and I'm just putting these in place I'm trying to align the first letter with one of the little swings at the bottom for moments and then when I place the second wing I'm placing the last letter the Y at this at a similar spot on the second embellishment so I will then add the butterfly so I have a little bit of problem um, removing backings on some of stickers and stuff so I just use occasionally either a pin or one of the um, hole pokers that we that you can get for embossing etc so I've just added the butterfly and I also added some glossy accents to that so now hold it well while, while these are drying I'm going to hold them down while I go around where shadows would fall with my black intense pencil and just scribble on that and then I'm going to grab a water brush and using a pipette I'm going to fill it up from my water supply I have on hand and I'm just going to activate the the black and add a bit of depth to those embellishments so I'll just maintain this until I'm happy with that there's enough of the actual um, shadowing there and I'll just keep on with that particular action I just feel they really do need it otherwise it looks very flat if you can't if you if you can't do it that it's basically it's a case of you work out where your lights coming from and then at the opposite side you place the black so what I've tried to envis envision I can't even say that word the light is coming from the top corner where my index my left index finger currently is so that's where I've um, decided where the light was coming from and this is why I'm shadowing down and I'm actually spreading it down a little bit on a slight um, triangle effect downwards so that it adds a little bit extra so I decided to open up the other wax that I purchased from that is a little birdies it's called Aquashine and just add a little pop of blue through those embellishments in a few other areas on the layout and including on the butterfly just a small amount and it was just I just think it added a bit and this is my glitter spray thing so I've just added a bit more sheen it just made me feel happy so these are my two projects totally different and I've used quite a few products which I will list 
in on my blog page so please visit there and have a look so I'm just laying out the products now that you can see so there was quite a few and I will as I said I'll list them on my blog page so you know what items that I would I use this time around so I hope you enjoyed this video if there's anything you'd like me to have an attempt at to challenge me with I would love love to hear from you my blog allows you to comment so does the YouTube videos please like and subscribe on both my those social medias I also have Twitter and Instagram and Pinterest if you'd like to follow me further so thank you for visiting I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did sorry it's so long but with really when it came down it ended up being two projects and I'm really happy with the results so bye for now take care